Ladies and gentlemen, your official introductions for this featherweight bout. First, the fighter standing to my left in the blue corner. He is 22 years of age, stands at 5 feet, 7 inches tall, and weighed in at 65 kilograms. He hails from right here in Leicester and represents Cannon's Black Belt Academy, Lewis Cannon! And across the cage stands his opponent in the red corner. This fighter is 27 years of age, stands at 5 foot 5 inches tall, and weighed in at 65 kilograms. He hails from Nottingham and represents Team Warhead. With a record of 2 0 and 0, Andrew Smushin! This bout is held over two five minute rounds. So, a final instruction from Mark Woodard. And this fight will be underway. Again, B class semi pro. Do you know anything about either of these two fighters, Andy? I think we've uh, we've seen Andrew Shin before. Coming from uh, Team Wallhead, we know that he's going to be uh, very, very good in the clinch. Yeah, like good clinch. Uh, strong ground and found. Guess they're never going to the top position on the ground. Yeah. Although, again, there'll be no shots to the head on the floor. Looks very composed. That's some big, big punches going in, too. He could stop him. He, he shook him there with those shots. He's definitely on unsteady legs. I think Lewis looks shocked and he's gone in for a, it was a, a fast Superman a fast down from outside. It was a fast single. Not the most technical, but he looks determined to get him down, and he's got him down. Andrew so, doing a good job of uh, staying up there for... Yeah, Andrew Shim on his back. Gannon needs to get his head up. His hands off the mat. Those little punches there, Matt Woodard will stand them up. If he's got to be trying to advance position or do something. Not not a right lot going on from from there. Yeah, the referee's yeah, done the right call, things. Good call there. Let's see if Andrew Shim can drop some more bombs. Lewis looks a little marked up around his left eye. He lifts his chin very high when he throws his shots, which is... Uh, I think Shim's got some very, caught. very explosive punches. I notice he's got um, again. Matt Howard in his corner, who's an excellent striker himself. Yeah, Matt, Matt Howard, a very, very good boxer. Shouting encouragement from, from the side. He's lost that guillotine. He may be able to sit out here, though. Oh, and he's gone for a dash choke. I was quite quick thinking there, but I think... Yeah. Let's give up Andrew, on that. Andrew managed to uh, posture out of it. It shows he's got a good awareness of sub submissions there, because he saw that quite quickly. Although it was defended well by Andrew Shim. I think both guys negated each other a little bit on the ground. Not much going on now. I think uh, Shim's definitely wanting this stood up. I imagine uh, referee Mark Woodhead will uh, stand it back up in again in a second. Yeah. There it is. Look for some shot, more short hooks from Shim. Mouth open of Gannon here. He looks tired. He's not instigating he's still, anything. He's still not on steady legs. Shot well for the takedown. Shim defending yeah, well. He didn't drive through though. He dropped. He dropped well. Got the position. He, he just wasn't driving. He's given the neck. He could have this. He could. 
big oh. hooks, big hooks going in again. And straight into a playground headlock. Is that a playground headlock, Andy? It's either that or a bulldog choke, Dave. They give his back up a little there. Oh, and into a choke. I think Gannon needs to skew his position a little better. Not see, I couldn't see the him having right. success with that from uh, from standing to be honest it was it was a little bit of a mistake though by Andrew Shib I think uh, he might have got a little bit of a fright just for a second <laughs> yeah Gannon looking really tired now both guys looking tired but I want to see uh, some more short hooks from Shim on the inside and I can imagine that as soon as he sets off, Matt Howard, gonna Matt jump. Howard telling Shim what he needs to do, get into the middle of the ring, start banging them shots in. He's calling to to faint and then let the shots go. And Gannon looking really tired. Stood still. Shim's not taking advantage of this. Air. I can imagine he's going to... Oh, oh, oh he's getting oh, caught with a shot. Shim dropping bombs now. Referees, they, referee looks to have stopped it. That was a oh, no, strong finish to the end of the first round. round. Gannon was looking hurt there and Shim was just dropping some bombs. Very, very good I think Gannon will uh, shoot from his corner at the beginning of the next round. I'd imagine it would. He's just stood still on one spot. Both guys looking tired in the corner. So, do you think Shim will start fast? I'd imagine so, and I, I think we can uh, look for uh, Gannon to, to shoot as soon as Shim starts to punch us. That exactly what I thought would happen. Yeah, and he's got the takedown. Shim needs to punch in the head and get back up. Two very vocal corners. See whether they'll have a bit more activity on the ground or whether our referee will stand them both back up again. I think Shim looks to be trying to do as little as possible on the ground so then when he's standing he can uh, explode with his punches. Yeah, Gannon's not looking to advance position but he's looking to throw shots to the body and shoulders on the floor. Gannon oh, looking to set the back. There. Shim's looking complacent on his back because he knows he can't get punched in the head, but he needs to be very, very careful not to give something away. He's getting back as, to his feet, but he's we saw, back again. As we saw with the Dars attempt earlier on in the, in the first round, um, Gannon does have some submissions. He might drag him back over himself. Gannon wasting a fair bit of energy pulling him here and there. I think Shim's just trying, to, trying to get a break. Yeah. Shim with a good base on the feet. He's not really doing anything. Coming from I'd, Team Wallhead, I think. I'd, I'd, uh, like, I'd like to see Shim either detach and start striking or look to 
instigate a takedown of his own and work from the top. At the moment, he's just it's negating just, what Gannon's yeah, doing. Just, just trying to defend. Corner shouting to Gannon to, to keep working on him because uh, they think Shim's gassed. Maybe he has, but if he, uh, if he can get it on feet and detach, he'll need to land one shot. That's two, he's got some big bombs. Now Gannon. Gannon's looking to pass. Yeah, Gannon seems to be having his way on the ground. Shim's corner telling him to get up. He laid there in the, in the fetal position. Yeah, I Look think that was an optimistic step over. Is, is he giving his neck again? Yeah, yeah Gannon's give that up and just taking side control. Switching He's all over him here on top. I think this could purely be down to fitness uh, at the moment. Shim seems referee a little, telling Shim he needs to do something. A little too happy to just relax on the ground. But he's giving the round away. And possibly the fight if he does this. That's right. Gannon's corner uh, telling him he needs a sub and to fire for submissions. And he is working for him. Looking to take the back, putting his hooks in. You stretch him out from here. <laughs> He's crossed That's his shit. feet there. Gannon's crossed there. his feet and Shim's taking advantage of that. A mistake from the back, but he slid off. Can't quite see from this angle if he's got the neck or not. I don't think he has got the neck. Look on the screens, it looks like um, Shim has control of his hands. Not long left in the round now. But this has been all Gannon. Apart from a few heavy shots at the beginning. Just it's looking like out. he put a face bar on. Couldn't get a submission. Let's see how the judges scored this contest. Yeah, over Wait. to um, MC Aaron Chatfield for the official decision on that fight. They see this fight as a majority draw. 